So today, it's a first, I'm going to be popping my virgin cherry and I'm going to be repasting a graphics card. So the graphics card in particular is the one popping up on the screen just now and it is the Gigabyte RTX 2070 Super Windforce OC edition um, and it's got a three fan variant. Um, bought this card roughly four years ago. It was my graphics card in my own rig, uh, but since then I've actually upgraded twice and usually I hand my parts down to my oldest boy who's a bit of a, a PC gamer as well. Um, but I was actually lucky enough recently to win a 4070 um, in a competition so I gave that to my son and my youngest son is now getting into PC gaming so he um, inherited the, the 2070 Super um, put it in his case uh, to replace the 1070 he had um, and the first thing he did was play Call of Duty and it sounded like a plane was taking off the, the noise of the fans and the graphics card just kicked in right away Full blast, um, I got the stats up on the screen and the graphics card was running around 87 degrees so thought might as well take it apart, see if I can change the paste out or even the thermal pads and see if it makes a difference. So it's exactly what I've done and uh, right now I'll show you how I dis uh, disassembled it and what I found. So I'm just going to take a look around the card, see what screws need to come out and if there's any connectors. And right away I can see a connector here just beside the, the power connections and this is the connector for the RGB uh, logo on the side, it's only got the little bit of RGB and then on this side here we also have another connector and that's for the three fans. On the back plate here there should be seven screws and uh, I believe when you take the back plate off of this it actually sticks with the circuit board. Um, which is quite good. Thinking some of the other graphics cards, uh, when you take the back plate off, it comes away altogether. But this, this actually keeps with the uh, the circuit board. And if you want to remove the back back plate altogether, you then have to undo another four screws on the other side. But uh, I don't think we'll need to do that in this uh, this instance. But we'll we'll have a look at that anyway. If it needs to be done, so three smaller screws over to the the right hand side, and then we've got these four screws here. I should just point out these are spring loaded screws so make sure you don't lose the spring put them somewhere safe and you've got all this to take apart and I'm just hoping as once as I've got these off that the, the cooler basically separates away from the from the rest okay I've, I've seen videos where it looks as if it can take a little bit of effort and that's my worry that you damage something when you pull it apart so um, the fact that this has been used so much, I hope, I'm really really hoping it's not stuck, just having a last minute check here to make sure there's any other screws before trying to pry it apart, I think I'll do it at this end instead. Oh, that actually came away, <laughs> came away far easier than I thought it would, oh, it's a bonus, it's good. I uh, just need to get these connectors undone, so again, this is a connector for the RGB, should just be able to pull that out by hand, if I flip it over to the other side. I'll be able to get a connector off for the fans. And that's that, the cooler is disconnected. And you can see right away there's a wee bit of damage with the thermal pads, one's sticking to the, the memory modules and the other ones are still stuck to the, the plate here, a little bit of damage. But I've got to be honest, the pads actually feel quite sticky still, because if they're still moist, they've not dried out, so um, I actually think, in this case, I'll just uh, I'll keep those on. You can always replace them at a later date, but the, the, the paste here on the die is actually bone dry and it's very, very scarce as well. It's, it doesn't look like there's a great deal on it, but I'll give it all a clean with isopropyl alcohol and uh, I'll get that all teed up.
there we have it, all nice and sparkly clean. So I'm going to use some thermal grizzly um, thermal paste, the crying hot stuff. That's my go-to paste. Got a nice big tube of it here, and it's still uh, still nice and wet as well. It's not dried out or anything. I don't think it was that long ago I got this. So I'm going to put a decent amount in the middle here, and instead of placing the cooler straight back onto the top of it, I think I'm actually going to spread it out just to make sure it's all evenly covered. Didn't like the way it looked previously, it looked as if it was patchy bits, so I'm going to make sure this has got a, a nice even coating all the way across it. Rather than just hoping that by putting the cooler back down and screwing it all together that it spreads out evenly, I'll just do it this way. Just spreading the paste out to the four corners. Of course, making a mess as I go along, but as long as it does a trick, that's all that matters. Nearly getting there. That should do it. Just clean my little thing off here. Just stick that to the side. And I think we should be pretty much ready to put the cooler back on. If I just flip it over. Well, we'll do the connections just now. I'll try putting this connector back in. This is the uh, RGB connector. Let's press that in. And then it gets a little bit tricky here, trying to push the fan connector back in. This is when you can do with really skinny fingers. I actually thought it had skinny fingers as well, but this is proving a wee bit more difficult than I thought. Come on, then you go. Right, there you go. If you just flip it over, and then make sure that all the, the, the holes line up again. I'm trying to put this on, bang on where it came off, so that those uh, thermal pads land exactly where they, they should be. And you can see all the holes are all lined up there. So just put all the screws back in as you took them off. I'm just going to lightly tighten these up, doing opposite corners. And then when I've got them all in place, I'll, I'll give them a final tighten. But these are the spring loaded ones, just so that you don't over put too much tension on them. The third one here down the bottom right. So that's bit really boring. So I'm really keeping my fingers crossed here. Um, it just needs to kind of come down a bit, I think, just to avoid it ramping up all the time. I'm not quite sure about the, the cutoff, or should say the the point where the, the, the temperature gets to before the, the fans ramp up. I've not messed about with the fan covers or anything on the graphics cards, and it's something I don't normally do. I don't really want to do it either, I don't think you should. Um, so I'm hoping by doing this it cures it. So as I said before, this is replacing a 1070, uh, this 2070 Super, and it's made a big difference to how the games run and how the games look, but the noise is pretty unbearable, so as long as the fans are running slower, the system's running a bit cooler, I'll be more than happy. So just getting this last screw in here, and that should be us just about done. I'll just give it a wee once over, just check everything's in place and I've not missed anything. So that's a back plate on. Everything's looking okay. Actually it's not, I've just spotted that, bloody connectors fell out. Just as well I actually spent a bit of time there to look at that. <laughs> They've been a stupid mistake. But that's it pushed back in now. And that's it, all done, all buttoned back up and good to go, back into the system. So the graphics card is reinstalled now and you can see the fourth bottom reading there is the temperature currently which is 67, that's nearly 20 degrees lower than it was before, 87 we were getting and the fan speed's only 814, 815, what a difference. And that just goes to show it very much is worthwhile giving this a go if, you, if you've never done it before, it was a first for me, 
it was a bit of a doddle, but things like that kind of really don't, you know, some people might find it a bit daunting ripping open a graphics card, but it doesn't really bother me, and he still had his, uh, his 1070 as a backup if anything went wrong, and uh, gladly it went all kind of smoothly for me, especially taking the actual card apart, I thought it would be quite sticky and tough to kind of pry it apart, but it came away no problem at all. So in the video you've seen it touching temperatures, I, th I think it was about 67, up to 69 degrees, so nearly 20 degrees difference, which is a, a fantastic result. To be honest, it could probably be better. He's not got the greatest of computer cases, not got the greatest of fans. Uh, it's positioned underneath his desk, but there's not great airflow. He's got real bad uh, habit of not opening the windows in his room, so it gets a bit stifling hot, but all those things can be improved, and uh, he's actually going to get more of my parts soon, because I'm part of planning to do an upgrade, and I've also got a a fantastic uh, Li and Li SUP01 case I'm going to transfer everything into and hopefully that helps the temperatures as well but um thought I would just share this with you guys as I say it was virgin territory for me and I'm, I'm glad I've done it and I'm glad I'm sharing it with you um hope you like it please leave a like and subscribe uh, if you can and if you've got any questions just ping them down in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them for you should also point out as well the thermal pads I did actually buy thermal pads um, got these from Amazon, uh, they seem to be quite highly recommended and they come in the, the sizes that you need for this, this graphics card which is uh, 0.5mm, 1mm and 1.5mm um, and it's like a 3 pack and I think I only paid about 5 or £6 for them um, I can leave a link for them down in the uh, description below if you actually need to buy them I'll keep an eye on the temperatures over the next few months and uh, I might eventually get around to replacing those but to be honest the, the difference they are already shown by just doing the repasting um, I, th I don't think I'll need to do the thermal pads but anyway I'm, I'm blabbing on. Okay guys that's another one and I'll hopefully see you soon. See you later.